Assalamu alaikum I am going to assemble a jet assembly of Pelton wheel turbine in this video so let's start by pressing new and then starting from assembly in the meanwhile open that folder which contains the parts for jet assembly you can get this folder by sending me a message on my Facebook page close this dialog Drop the parts from this folder into SOLIDWORKS assembly. Now drag them away from each other. This part is not moving so right click on it and select float. Now import jet casing named as intake pipe. Click on the shaft and select mate. Now click on this face of intake pipe. Change the direction. Now mate this nozzle with the intake pipe. Assemble this needle nut with the intake pipe. This is the water seal so assemble it with the needle nut. Change the direction of seal. This is the accurate direction of seal. Now assemble this needle cover on top of needle nut. Now create mates for handle on top of needle. Lock its rotation. Now right click on intake pipe and fix it. Hide this intake pipe to create a secure mate for needle and needle nut.
Now click on the needle and open it. Here click on the refrigeriometry and select axis. Now click on this face and then press OK button. Close this window and click on yes. Select mates and then in the mechanical mates select screw. Scroll down from this arrow. In the needle part select axis. Now click on this circular edge of needle nut. Check into this box the distance per revolution and the distance is 10 mm. Now press OK. It is difficult to observe the rotation of needle. So click on needle handle and open it. Click on this face and then select new sketch. Make a circle. And then in the future click on extruded cut command. Now circular pattern. And the quantity is 5. Close this window. And click yes. Unhide the intake pipe from this bar. To make exploded view of jet assembly, click on configuration manager from here. And then right click on default and select new exploded view. Drag the parts one by one. Now press OK button. Click on this arrow and then right click on exploded view 1 and then select animate collapse. Stop it from here and close the dialog. If you double click on the exploded view the assembly will explode or collapse. Now animate explode. Thank you very much for sparing time and please don't forget to subscribe.